Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. 5G and the evolution to cloud native networks are becoming inseparable. And key to this evolution is establishing the network as the foundation for innovation. But what is the business value of cloud native 5G readiness? And will the partnership between Nokia and Google Cloud be a game changer for operators? Well, joining me today to reveal more details are Ursilia Manso, who is Director of Global 5G Telecom Solutions for Google Cloud, and Tim Smith, Vice President of Cloud and Network Services Europe for Nokia. Welcome, good to see both of you. Tim, let me start our discussion by asking you, what, in your view, is the current state of the CSP industry and what are the key challenges that we face? I think the current state of the industry is very strong and, and it has enormous potential for growth. But there are a couple of areas that, 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 that we really need to focus on. The first is that the traditional revenue growth areas are starting to stagnate. And so service providers need to understand which new markets to move into and how to move into those new markets. And that is going to need an increasing level of platform agility. The second is, as well as you know, the, the challenges on revenue, there are some very significant challenges on the cost base. Every time we put in um, new platform, uh, new environments, new functions, new capabilities, those have always come with the cost of the new enabling platforms and environments as well. And so we need to move away from when new functions, new capabilities are required, we need to move away from the cost of delivering those new capabilities and those new functions, which, which comes through the environments that those need. Thanks, Tim. Ursilia, are you in agreement with Tim here? Yes, of course. Against uh, the backdrop of revenue stagnation, CAPEX are increasing, so operators continue upgrading 4G while also rolling out new 5G networks. Only on 5G networks build-out costs are projected to reach $870 billion over the next 10 years. And according to some projection, the global data demand is still growing at a staggering rate of 32% CGR on mobile and 19% on fixed. This is driven by more devices, more connections, more contents, higher resolution, and of course, more applications. There seems uh, to be no end in sight for uh, data growth. And uh, working uh, from home, COVID and distributed team have uh, only added to this trend. The challenge for uh, CSP is how to keep up with this growth in terms of uh, customer experience. According to Bain Consulting, in the last uh, five years, no leading uh, telecommunications uh, in the Americas or Europe has a sustained and net promoter score above 50. 50 is a threshold that indicates a company is beloved by a majority of its customers. In uh, my view, customer experience is uh, the obvious uh, competitive uh, differentiator. It cannot be neglected. Uh, simply speaking, uh, customer experience uh, excellence uh, will lead to more happy customers, uh, generating more revenues, uh, less churn, uh, contracting many downward trends. We all know that uh, digital uh, native companies uh, such as uh, uh, Uber and Netflix have uh, set a new standard for seamless uh, online uh, experiences, uh, forcing uh, uh, CSPs to redefine uh, their customer interaction uh, models. Telcos are now competing against a new high bar of the digital age. Of course, there are many other technical uh, challenges uh, uh, such as operations, uh, cost, uh, cost of expansions, uh, new network uh, topology that comes uh, with the 5G and so on. But the customer perception is always central. And Ursilia, continuing on this point then, what do you see as the opportunity for CSPs and the role they play in digital transformation? Yes, uh, uh, digital transformation has uh, the potential to significantly improve the quality of uh, consumer lives while uh, providing businesses with new opportunities for value creation. The telecom industry is at the forefront of this transformation, both as an industry witnessing a large scale change in its market conditions 
and as a key driver of the world digitization. With the NER uh, networks and the services, uh, Telco bring business and communities uh, together in uh, ways we never thought possible before. With the 5G deployments uh, picking up around the globe, the importance of the CSP is becoming even more relevant. Uh, Telco also should accelerate their own digital transformation and uh, provide the connectivity and the solutions uh, that enable enterprise uh, to innovate and transform while giving consumers uh, an ever improving experience. It does not uh, happen, of course, overnight and uh, goes uh, through the adoption of cloud-based services, uh, which are elastic, uh, flexible and at a lower cost. It goes uh, through the utilization of uh, analytics uh, to build new or richer content uh, experiences. Uh, goes uh, through the increase of uh, automation to reinvent uh, the operations. And finally, it goes uh, through the adoption of uh, machine learning to solve real uh, business uh, problems. Uh, of course, we don't have to forget that the digital transformation also means cultural and organizational change to benefit from the increased uh, agility enabled by these uh, technologies. Uh, the opportunity for uh, CSPs uh, to, to be relevant and stay competitive with uh, customers undergoing their own digital transformation is uh, to offer composable technology services which are available on demand and uh, which can be ordered, configured, managed via APIs. Uh, I'm referring, uh, uh, for example, to SDN VAN, or on-demand connectivity solutions, on-demand security services. And uh, another uh, important opportunity is uh, for CSPs uh, to partner with the cloud providers so they can offer services uh, such as cloud connectivity, edge compute, and IoT solutions. Joint uh, go-to-market for cloud-based services and workforce uh, productivity solutions also enables telcos to benefit uh, from uh, digital transformation trends and offer valuable uh, capabilities uh, to their uh, customers. Thank you, Ocilia. So why are Nokia and Google Cloud partnering and how can your collaboration help the CSPs? Tim, let's hear from you first. So two reasons, really. The first is to decouple that correlation between providing new capabilities, new functions, new abilities, and breaking that correlation with the associated cost of, of providing those. So it's to decouple that, but then also to significantly increase agility. We've already talked about you know, the need to go after new markets, the need to be able to launch new services into those new markets, and we need to do that in a far more agile way and far more agile, cost-effective way. So we've taken our, our experience and knowledge of the telco industry and taken all of our capabilities and we are moving those to become fully cloud-native containerized functions, following an any cloud strategy. It's important for us as Nokia for our capabilities to be delivered in any environment, be it on bare metal, be it on private cloud, be it on public cloud, be it in the edge. And and so we've taken those capabilities and, and delivering and giving CSPs that flexibility to deploy capabilities and functions far quicker, far in a far more agile way and a far lower cost point. So, Tim, is there a specific use case you could reference? Yeah, so a really good example of this was an anomaly detection capability that we've been building. So we looked at how we traditionally take analytics functions to market. And historically, what's happened is that that analytics capability is packaged into an enabling platform, an enabling appliance or environment. The real value added by an analytics capability is in the algorithms, it's in the intelligence, whereas a very large percentage of the cost is in the enabling environment, the enabling application. So instead of building to following the more traditional approach of having those algorithms and putting them into an appliance or a program or an application is to take that algorithm, put it into a container and then just take that container to market such that a customer can take that container and deploy it into their environment. So 
this is what we did with Vodafone, with, the anom with our new anomaly detection algorithm. We took that algorithm, put it into a container, and delivered that container to Vodafone to deploy it on their Google Cloud platform. This enabled Vodafone to firstly launch that capability far, far quicker. You don't have to put in a brand new environment to, to, run, the, um, to run the capability. They just put it into the Google Cloud platform. It enabled them to do it at a far lower cost point because you don't have to do a full implementation of an appliance. It's much, much quicker to deploy a container into an already existing environment. And it enables them to be far more agile on a go forward basis. If they want to roll that capability out to new operators, new opcos, they can do so, they can scale in, they can scale out far quicker, far more in a far more agile way. Thank you, Tim. And Asilia, tell us more about the reasons behind the partnership and why it would be beneficial to CSPs. Yeah, uh, in the past few years, uh, the telecom industry has evolved from uh, physical appliances uh, to virtual network functions and now cloud native uh, solutions. It's uh, unique that uh, two major players uh, in their respective fields, uh, um, two innovative companies like Nokia and Google Cloud, are now joining forces uh, to accelerate innovation across uh, critical areas uh, such as uh, open and software defined networks uh, and cloud native uh, network functions. As uh, one example of uh, how we are collaborating to help uh, CSPs, we can mention uh, the announcement we, we made here early last, uh, this year with the Telenet. Telenet and Nokia will be using Google Cloud and more specifically Anthos in the Telenet data centers. Antos uh, allows operators uh, to run uh, the 5G network functions uh, and other applications that formerly had to be integrated into the network via physical hardware, via cloud native services. As a result, uh, operators will be able to implement innovation and uh, respond to the needs of the market much more quickly. Antos uh, will uh, also allow um, provide a, an innovative a hybrid distributed uh, cloud platform with the necessary solutions and application for 5G use cases to, to drive significant uh, agility and flexibility to enable new services and new experiences. And Tim, can you tell us what is unique about this partnership? This partnership really does bring together the strength of both companies. Nokia has got a strong lineage and understanding of the telco industry. We understand how to provide the capabilities and functions service providers need in order to enter new markets in B2C, B2B, and increasingly B2B2C. And those capabilities are evolving from appliances to virtual network functions to now fully cloud native functions. We design all of our capabilities across core and OSS, examples of OSS being analytics, assurance, orchestration, following an any cloud principle. And it's important to Nokia that our capabilities can be deployed across bare metal, private cloud and public cloud. So working with Google, with their understanding of platform delivery really enables service providers to bring these new functions to market in a far quicker and far more agile, responsive, way, really being able to react to changing market demands. We also then start to decouple the historically very strong link between bringing a new capability to market and the cost associated with bringing that new capability to market. If we can take those functions and put them in cloud native containers, you start to break the link between launching new services, launching new functions, taking new capabilities and the associated costs of doing so. It also increases, massively increases elasticity. You can scale up and you can scale down in a far more cost effective and far quicker way than you could before. And Ursulia, final thoughts from you on why this partnership between Google Cloud and Nokia is unique and why it's going to be so important to the CSPs. This partnership is bringing together the best of both worlds, telco and cloud, and the best of both companies, Nokia and Google. Google brings Anthos, a multi-cloud application platform used to create a solution for virtualizing radio access networks, core networks, and OSS, BSS systems. Anthos provides the foundation for delivering new latency, sensitive, uh, and data-driven service offerings. 
uh, with AMTOS uh, application developers and network function providers uh, can leverage a single set of infrastructure API to deploy, manage, and operate uh, their workloads in an heterogeneous environment, such as Google Cloud, Azure, AWS. Um, um, it can run on prem or on telco edge, and this provides a common deployment platform for IT, data, network, and industry vertical services. Uh, what else? Google Cloud shares the same proven infrastructure and a global network that powers Google products like YouTube, Search, Maps, Gmail. Our uh, globally distributed edge uh, extends the carrier's ability to run application everywhere. Google Cloud uh, shows uh, top performances in terms of latency, availability, re resilience, uh, security. Our cloud uh, solutions are uh, telco grade in order to support uh, mission critical uh, core uh, telco workloads. Uh, Google Cloud is uh, committed uh, uh, to an open environment. Kubernetes was originally deployed to Google and uh, we have used this ethos to build together with Nokia our uh, CSP solutions. Google has world-class artificial intelligence, machine learning and data analytics capabilities so we can uh, build together with Nokia uh, solutions that can help CSPs to solve their business challenges. And uh, finally, let me say that uh, Google continues to focus on collaboration with partners in order to build a wide ecosystem versus the competitive dynamics uh, you see elsewhere in the industries. Uh, Google has a rich ecosystem of partners, uh, including OSS, BSS vendors, uh, collaboration technology, uh, global system integrators, uh, and of course, uh, HSV uh, partners. So uh, we are sure that to strength our uh, uh, forces with the Nokia, we will be able to deliver something great for uh, the CSPs. Thank you, Ursulia. And to you too, Tim. Good talking with both of you and learning more about the partnership. Coming up now as part of our special focus on why cloud native and why now, we have a panel discussion that features not only Nokia and Google, but also Telefonica, BT, Telenet and the TM Forum.